Demon Wagon Studios presents 2014 this game was made. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Yentrack Gaming. Welcome back to Fright Day. Glad to have you here. Every Friday in October, we play spooky, scary, creepy, dark horror genre of games. Today, we're taking a look at Craven Manor. I've heard that this is a good game, a short game, but a good game. Not really sure to what to expect here, but we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Regular Nightmare. Basic game, you explore the manor with a standard flashlight. Nightmare, a more challenging game mode, you explore the manor with a mechanically powered flashlight and the horrors within are more deadly. Regular, please. <laughs> you can adjust your video and audio settings in the option screen. Thank you. Option screen. Okay. Controls. Move. We can throw. That doesn't bode well. A little bit more. I like my mouse to be not sensitive at all. All right. That's going to have to do. Pretty good. All right. I always start off going to the right. Press E or the left mouse to examine certain items when the magnifying glass appears. All right. So I can't look at anything here. All right, this piece of machinery looks like the fulcrum for a missing lever. This one right here. No. Okay. You have to be right up on something to look at it. This locked panel has an ornate keyhole in one corner. The music sounds a little bit like um, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Like, I know you want me to look at this, but I can't look at it. Okay. Books. Is that a person or is that a painting? Uh huh. Yep. It is. A heavy bronze ornament engraved with letters K M. there. I just stay here. Notes of William Craven. Initially, I lamented that the rituals of, of October were failures. However, months later, I turned my back to a statue I thought hollow and dead, and the spirit within made itself known. A book. Right-click the mouse button to throw an object. Hiya! Scared you. <laughs> I'm gonna whack you with this globe. Yeah, got him. Okay. Is it like highlighting the whole floor? Whoa, that's where they want me to go, obviously. Hang on, I haven't finished looking around. Oh, I didn't like the sound of that. Locked. So I don't want to turn my back to the statue, is that what you're saying? Should I always have something in my hand? Where's my, where's my pot?
telephone. Like, I wonder if it will not let you uh, look at these things if you have something in your hand. I need to know these things. Ways of a decimate. Castle of Craven Manor and other strange books clutter these shelves. All right, let's go where the spirit's telling us to go. Shut the door behind me. Huh? Huh? Should we have gone up the stairs? Collected works by Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. For whosoever do not touch... For whosoever do not in the truth, boasting of phantasms, brag that they can do miracles, be destined to the torments of eternal fire. Okay. You do you, bro. Ugh. You just walk through these cobwebs. The secrets? I don't speak French, guys. Sorry. Rejecting the music of the spheres as the movement of astronomical bodies are incapable of generating sound. So I'm not going to hear them coming. Perfect. Glad to know it. I kind of want to go back and go up the stairs and look at the statue. Press E or left mouse to lift, drop, or manipulate certain objects when the hand icon appears. Okay. Establishing a clear boundary between true sorcery and the mere illusions of mentally ill women. Huh? I mean, it was telling me to do something when the hand button appears. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, journal. I found a scale model of a wine cellar. It matches the model I saw in the entryway. Great. So what do you want me to do with it? Take it, take it with me? Hmm. Can I throw this at somebody? I think we broke something. Look at all the floaties now. Uh, that wasn't here before. Okay, they're telling me I have to go this way. Ladder. Climb up the ladder? Dang it. Nice cozy fireplace. Oh, pick that back up. The heat does not reach far into this cold room and is less than comforting. The house is supposed to be abandoned, yet something started the fire. Yeah, probably the same thing that stacked all these books up. We'll throw this wine cellar at somebody. The epic poem concerns the biblical fable of the fall of man, Paradise Lost. Uh, want me to do something in here? Yeah, let's put the wine cellar in here, right? Oh, wants, wants me to put something in there. Can't go back this way yet, I don't think. Does it want me to burn the wine cellar? Oh! Activate. <laughs> it's stuck. All right, I'm gonna take it with me. And I'm sure I have to do something with that. I'm not sure what I have to put in there. Can we go upstairs and look at the statue now? Mm -hmm. 
Oh boy. I'm being dragged. Oh. Flashlight. Where's my wine cellar? Statue's gone. Does my uh, flashlight run out? Look, here's my globe that I threw at it. Okay, let's go to the right. I don't know, they wanted me to... Blood? They wanted me to go over back toward the, uh... Other dumbwaiter or whatever that was. This photograph shows an elaborate scale model of a grand manor. With many rooms and tiny furniture, the aged hands of the older man appear in the image, making adjustments to the model. Okay. Locked. What's this way? Hello, so now. Hello. Nothing this way. I'll check that one on the way back. Okay. My sprint is not very sprinty. Oh, I'm out of breath though. Alright, it wanted me to go back over to those other doors or whatever, but let me see. Just stepping in glasses. Is this my wine cellar? Key. Uh didn't check this side of the stairs. Let me come over here. Bronze aperture looks like it could house a round object. Yeah, I found that before, but it didn't let me take it. What was that sound? A threatening sounding memo from William Craving addressed to a contractor. Subject structure subject structures must be built exactly to specifications. <laughs> okay. So I got my key. I also need that, uh... Where's... What happened to that thing? Did it get, like, sucked into another dimension? Because it was on here. But you didn't let me take it. Machinery looks like it's missing a lever. I still think it's this. Is it not? All right. The gear system appears to be missing an important piece. Is it still over in the library? a little back. Mm. It's quite bloody. Hey, there's my wine cellar. 
bring scale rim models to the table. If you need to reuse the table, press E or, or left click the table, something, something, something. Oh boy, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. What did you just do? Click and drag to move room, rotate room while dragging. Huh? I don't, I don't know what you want me to do. Oh. Okay, so that's gonna open up one of the locked doors, got it. That was upstairs. All right, I'm coming, hang on, I need a weapon. <laughs> that's nice that we put the wine cellar upstairs, that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh... A notice to all Craven Metalworks employees, thieves and layabouts shall be disciplined by Lord Craven and shall receive no wages during recuperation. Dang. You a bunch of thieves and layabouts. Upon close inspection, something seems to have torn into this painting with dozens of thin, fine scratches. Stay back, I've got a book, and I know how to use it. Ah. <sighs> okay. Oh, I thought I saw a face. <sighs> Ugh. Blood. You know you're going the right way when you find the blood. Ew, gross. We are in the wine cellar. Maybe it's just spilled wine. What's that statue again? Should we uh, run at it? Said not to turn your back on it. Got him. Ah. Get out. Okay. Let me have my book. I'm going. Ah. What? How do I get out? You blocked me. Ah. Press and hold left shift while moving to sprint down the hallway. I. I'm, I'm trying. Okay, I died. You collapsed to the floor and slipped into the darkness. I didn't see where the uh, exit was. They locked me in. Oh, hang on. I need my I need my book. My book's gone. Can I have something else I can throw? No? Oh, my globe is back. There we go. All right. Uh, here we go. That's my bad. I just didn't see where he wanted me to go because of the, uh, they blocked off my hallway. All right. I didn't go over this way before. Let's check this out. Within these construction expense reports are references to hidden passageways and moving walls. No. Kidding. Ooh, secret office in the wine cellar. The blueprint designed is attributed to William Craven. The architecture reflects both scrupulous detail and extremely strange structural components. Spoon. Oh, yes. Wine bottle. 
Photograph. This photo is labeled 1857 Craven Metalworks and depicts a grim, well-dressed man in his 40s at the grand opening of a factory. You don't say. I mean, yeah, I already looked at you. Okay. Might as well do it again, just because we're at a checkpoint. Um. Uh, did it again. Skirt me again. Like, I don't know how to get back to where it wanted me to go. Hi. Yes, I, I do want to get out. Let's see, it's blocked here. I mean, where do I go? Okay. We go here. Found another room. Okay, that makes makes a little more sense. Oh, hidden passageway. Got it. Got it. Now I know what you're saying to me. All right, let's get out of here. Go put this on the table. We're gonna stick this sucker over on this side. We can. I don't know that we can. Yeah. Okay, bedroom. All right. Let's go over to the bedroom. Oh, already? Come now. Thank you. All right, let's make sure we take a good look around. Books all over the floor. Not seeing anything there. Can we come in this door? Nope. Okay, I guess it's just straight ahead. Hmm. Need to come up with a name for our statue so it's not so scary. Steve? Steve, are you here? I mean, that looks like a thing. Photograph. Crime scene photograph labeled George Craven. 408-02, this black and white photo depicts a male body on its knees, leaning over with its head submerged in a vat of molten bronze. Holy smokes. Steve. Strange globe. The wire globe feels almost like it has a slight electric charge. Cool. I like, I like the globes. Through fathers, though father's beatings wore me raw, I hated mother's ceaseless lying most. Seeing them die was an epiphany. There is a beauty in death I've never forgotten. Wow. Found the blood. Okay, Steve. A pile of dark, blurry photos of six nude men and women decorated with streaks of red paint. Are you sure it's paint? They are dancing around a glass orb. The setting appears to be the top floor of a library. Huh. Well, how about that? Steve! Steve! 
I saw you. I still see you. <laughs> Dang it, Steve. I want to take that globe with me. Nothing over here where Steve just was. All right. Did you unlock this, this door for me? Um, I have my flashlight on. Oh, come on. You want me to look at this picture? He probably wanted me to run through the door. I got distracted by the picture. Let's just go. We know what they want us to do. Kind of need to peek at these things again just in case, though. I don't know what, what they uh, require us to relook at and what they don't. Um, can I pick something up? Okay, I know they want us to look at this. All right. And I'm sure they want us to go over to this door. I don't know, they just kind of focused on that picture like they wanted me to do something with it. It's locked? What? You want to go back in this door? Everything's locked? What? Yikes. Okay. So, whenever the light goes out, I didn't look at this. Inside this book are many diagrams and sketches of human teeth. Interesting. Okay, so when they, when the power goes out and everything, it puts me face to face with that, uh, that painting. They want me to do something with that painting. And the painting is like highlighted and everything, so. So there's something with this painting. And there's blood leading to it. Uh, oh, rope? Oh, I saw something. I saw a rope or a chain or something. I think we got it. It's just hard to see. It's just real hard to see it. Come on, Steve, help me out here. I'm trying to set you free. Yeah, I saw that. That rope in the corner by the window was highlighted, I believe. This thing? Wasn't it? Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. Steve? Dang it! The nature of limbo has revealed itself to me. It is a receptacle and a state of existence wherein the spirit can be contained. Right. My earliest successes were brief but invigorating. After the ritual malfericum, mal maleficarum, 
the large orbs held the spirits for seconds at a time and glowed visibly. Okay, there should be a uh, another room in here somewhere, right? Yes. Steve's not here. Torn page, a carefully detailed illustration of a human arm being dipped in bronze with a set of pincers. The labeling appears instructional as if it were torn out of a manual. Jeez. All right, let me get this room and get out of here. Got the attic. We should look at our, uh, at our journal too. Let me out. Is there a way that we can go back and forth? The horror lives in the recesses of darkness, a place between curiosity and madness. I can feel it. It seeks to destroy me. I have found a model of a dark attic. I do not look forward to entering this place. Because I did not look at my journal. Um, I didn't look at my journal for the last one. Curious as to what it said for the bedroom. Um, wait, where's my... Uh, Where's my attic? Give me that. Give my that. All right, come over here, please. I mean, I'm gonna have to do it on this side, right? So the attic's gonna be in the same place that we just were. I had to move those around so that I could get in. Hmm. All right, going back this way again. Nice. At first, there was no need to assure that thoughtful consciousness follows the spirit. Indeed, for the likes of the first 19, their minds were no great loss. That's creepy. There's another one of those globes. I I I want to I want to take it. I don't know why it's saying that you can throw things cuz like it's not I don't like that. A handwritten list of 23 surnames, each followed by a different thumbprint. The names include Howard, Larson, and Hedgepeth. Because it hasn't let me really throw anything at these guys. Mm-hmm. Yep. Saw that one coming. Mints. Can I go in here? Nope. Oh, that's... Yeah, I didn't want to do that yet. Can I take it back up? Let me, uh... Keep looking around for a second here. I don't want to miss anything. Look at all these little things. I want to pick one of these up so I can throw it. Containing a philosophic description and application of the choices, chemical remedies drawn from the light of nature and of grace. Phone. Here's a chest. All right, we're gonna have to go up in the attic first and then come back in these rooms, probably. Here we go. I hate that. Look 
at all these chests. Wow. There's chests everywhere. Steve, are you up here? That's you right there, isn't it? Gosh, I hate this. I hate it. I don't see anything flashing at me. I haven't found the blood yet. The birth certificate of William Craven, born 1857 to Jacqueline and Lord George Craven of Doubtful Pass, Virginia. Mm. They don't use titles like that in America. is like Ikea. They're taking you a certain way that they want you to go. I feel like death is around every corner. What? I mean, what? what is it? Let me... You, you want me to take it, but you won't let me take it. Oh, there we go. I can throw it, thank you, but I don't want to, do I? Isn't this my... Is this my room? My next room? Uh, uh, Steve? Uh. Oh, hey, Steve. All right. What's that? I mean, you want me to cut that rope, don't you? Uh, do I have to throw this at the rope? At the chain? Oh, cool. Okay. I gotta throw it in the bucket so that it comes down. One more. Okay, I heard a noise. What, what, what did you do for me? I didn't need that. All right, it lowered something though. So we're probably gonna have to go back around and... New area. so much. Uh, uh, uh. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's my gear. You're just out of reach. There's a shattered window in the background that leads outside. You want me to go out a window? Okay. Ow, Steve. Stop dropping stuff on my head. I feel like I'm getting further away from it. 
How do I get to the outside? This is where it just was, right? To go out the door, one of the doors probably. Not that one. Maybe go in here? No? Huh. Well, I really thought that was gonna be it. <laughs> there were no other doors around this way. Yeah. All right. I just like wanted to hold on to my box. I didn't find any photos up here either, did I? All right. There's one. Not the one we're looking for though. kind of going backwards. Can I go out here? That's my gear. I mean, I didn't think it wanted me to go backwards, but maybe it did. Um, well, we already went this way. This was the barrel. It's just gonna take us back to the start, I think. I don't see any way to get outside. Hmm, you blocked me off here. What do you want me to do, bro? You want me to get outside, right? Wait. Okay. I'm blind. That's my bad. My bad. All right. We just want to get out of here. Whoa, Steve. Bruh, not cool. Steve, the horror lives in recess of darkness, a place between curiosity and madness. I can feel it. It seeks to destroy me. I found the library model, the one that was on the entryway table when I first arrived. The library model appears to have two entrances. One goes to the top floor. Does it? We were already in the library, were we not? All right, here we go, bro. Up the stairs. Well, hopefully Steve doesn't chase me again. Man, my sprint really does not sprint. Nice. Ooh, look at all these books. What? 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 
<laughs> okay. Oh, the library is so dark. Why is it so dark? Okay. I see what you did there. Did not like that sound though. All right, I'll play your game. Uh, Steve? Gosh, I hate this guy. I can't go in the door backwards, but I want to. Get out of here. Can I shut this? Oh. <laughs> He's gonna be chasing me. Oh, they want me to go back in there? No. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know, dude. I can't see anything in here. It's just taking me in circles. Wow, this is gonna be difficult. Oh, this is gonna be hard. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Okay, middle, up, bottom. Is my flashlight even on? I don't feel like it is. Why is it so dark in here? So you want me to do this one? Uh, yep. Jeez. See one in here. Uh, is there another one? No, dang it. He's still there. Okay, so I got this one. I don't know which way he's coming though. This one. Okay. So it's not that one yet. There's gotta be another one. Here's one. Okay. Now this one. Nice. Oh. Steve! Oh! Oh, poor Steve. All right. Let's 
So there's my token. Oh, we destroyed a book again. That's cool, though. I love the way that those are floating down there like that. All right, can we go out? Oh. But at least we don't have to worry about Steve chasing us, right? Oh, this is where we were at the very beginning. Oh, right. Um, so I probably need to put this in the dumbwaiter? No? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, I thought I needed to put something in the dumbwaiter, but maybe not. Maybe not. All right, so can we get back out this way then? Now that Steve's gone? This looks incredible. All right, there we go. Uh, we wanted to go down and to the left. Uh oh. Hearing the whisperings. Whoa. Yeah, I know. I know it goes right here. Mmm. Mmm. Steve better not be down here. Okay, he's just gonna take himself out of there. Let me look at this picture. An old photograph dated 1877 shows a massive manor under renovation. The back of the photo has Latin script. I'm not even gonna try to read it. I'm look at my journal. I found another model room piece with white and glass walls within. Incredibly, this piece floated onto the table on its own and sealed itself tight to the table surface. I fear whatever is leading me there, but I am desperate and out of options. I must somehow get to this white room. I can manipulate the other rooms on the table to create a path, but the pieces only seem to fit in a very specific order. Okay, I got you, bro. So you want me to rearrange it so I can get to the door. I don't have that fulcrum piece yet either, so I would assume that that's what I would need in order to get there, to get out that door. But we have to get outside so we can get the gear. All right, so what do I need with this? I mean, that's not gonna be the right one, but. Maybe it is, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, try to put this back. Because I think I need this one first. Nope. Maybe this one? Nope. Maybe I had it right. Okay. But this one can't be because there's nothing to connect this one to. Like this one has two connection points. Okay, so that one's right. Then we go here. Maybe? No. No. Yes. There we go. Got it. So are we good? We Gucci? Uh, which way do I go? I didn't hear anything. That's like straight ahead though. 
straight through the painting. Actually, I bet it's down here where we just were out that door. Makes sense, right? Sure does. Steve, you're not here, are you? Doesn't seem to be up this way. I uh, couldn't remember. Locked. What the frick? Uh, gotta go back downstairs? Follow the creepy lights. found a locked door, a globe, some globe frames, and a series of nearly identical portraits of a woman, each with an odd inscription on them. I feel warped. I fear a warped mind is testing me. Oh. Didn't like that I picked up this globe. Now. So this door is locked, right? I have to uh, find all the globes. Dang it. Every time I put one in, they're gonna blast me. Well, wait, how do I get out of here? You locked me in. Is it the one that's different? Number one, two, three, four. This makes no sense. Okay, that's not right. <laughs> I thought I had to find all of them, but apparently not. I just have to put it in the right one. Oh no, I crashed. To be expected with the game from 2014. Let's continue. Hopefully it saved me right in the library. It did. <laughs> Blocked off the stairs this time. So that's right where I went last time. Okay. Awesome. Oh, look at all the Steves. There's blood going over here. Knife. You're not going to let me have it, though? Hacksaw. You're going to bronze me, aren't you? Oh. Hello, sir. All right. Trunk's gone. All right. So it's gonna take me out to get the uh, the key or the gear that I need to get out of here. 
Oh, dark. The dark cellar. Hi. Oh, that's that painting again. What kind of dark magic is this? Whoa. I don't want to go down there. Don't make me go down there. Yeah, this seems right. No! Oh. I mean, that's where you wanted me to go. Okay, there's some symbols here. CEC ninety Y. All right, Fulcrum. I can't see what these are, though. So that's the 90. Oh. Uh, can I play it again? my door open now? Ugh. Somebody's stinking it up in here. I carefully explain to each of them that this is not death. They will still live more fully than before, yet they wail and call me a monster. They fail to appreciate their contribution. Hmm. Yeah, but you're bronzing people. Alive. That's... Not okay. Ooh. My turn, huh? Gonna make me the next Steve? No escaping now. I finally reached the white room filled with glass walls that feels cold and dry within and smells of blood and metal. Unlike the rest of the manor, there is no more mistaking this place for a home. Its purpose is clear. People died here. Yeah, they did. Ugh, and you're watching it happen.
I probably tried to escape. An orb can hold a soul for seconds, the statues for years. Interesting. When this ritual is held on Craven Manor itself, limbo may mean life everlasting. A heavy syringe labeled tranquilizer beneath in small text appears a word lysergic acid diethylamide. Okay. Broken glass orb. A shattered glass orb. It seems to have burst from within. The broken glass has an odd shimmer as if it were absorbing the light around it. So that's a person now? Is that what you're saying? all the paper strewn about. Somebody messed this place up good. With our sticky bones and thin skin, the saw and the hammer have taught me how frail we are. Earthly bodies are destined to rot. The blade is stained brown with blood and appears to be dull from extensive use. Pneumatic institution. Inhalation gas therapy using nitrous oxide. Laughing gas, huh? It's all fun and games until someone becomes a statue. Creepy. Didn't like that. Bits of the blade, cutting blade, bits of the blade are dull and bent from use. Jeez, they were really putting force on it. The human brain. Handbook of physiology, phrenology, and physiognomy. Scene. Follow the blood, right? I had little time to write. The monster somehow returned and attacked me with something, something that stole my breath and chilled my blood. The spirit flew at me when I showed my flashlight in the monster's direction. So I wanted to hit the oil, right? Whoa! Oh. Wait, wait. I gotta get out of here. We never did get the gear. Gosh, this is awful. I'm trying. How do I get out? I think I went the wrong way. Steve, help me. No? Where, where do I go? I mean, I thought you'd follow the blood, right? Oh, fulcrum. Duh. Duh. 
Vulcan. Oh no, it's broken. There we go. Locked. Steve? Dang it. Oh no. Steve got me. I just don't know where to go. What? That's weird. I didn't see that the first time. A D A D. Left, right, left, right. What? We're gonna sh juke him out? Why is it dark? I can't. S Why is it dark? Where am I going? What happened to the game? I don't know what's happening. Like, I can't see anything. I don't know what the frick just happened here. Yeah, I, I mean, kill me, I guess. I don't, I don't know where else to go. what's happening. I don't like this part. <laughs> oh no. Oh, let's see, at least we have light now. We don't want to go back downstairs. So we have to do this first. Steve, stop it! Alright, I'm not sure why that one spawned uh, me in a black room that one time. That was freaky, but at least now I know I have got to do this, and then I've got to get him to shoot that orb, so... Do not hit it. Steve, come on, dude. It's not that hard. Oh, I'm trapped. There we go. Got it that time. Okay. This way. Whoa. Uh, the wall is moving. Yikes, that is sketch. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't make it. Dang it. Um, How do I get out of this? I mean, I have to be able to get out of this, right? Well, there we go. Um... I don't know where to go.
I don't know if it saved it or not. Hopefully it did. Hopefully I don't have to do the bedroom again. No, don't crash again. Don't crash. All right, we crashed again. Here we go. Let's see if it'll pick me up in a decent spot here. Um, here we go. Okay. And this is gonna open up over here. Okay. Now we gotta go around this way. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, because you can't jump, it just kind of drops you there. I'll back up the books. Okay. How do you get on that one? Cheese. That's, that's so difficult. I don't know what it wants me to do. I can't do it. I can't do it. That's so hard. It's so hard. Oh, please don't make me fall again. Oh gosh, that was so hard. Hit a checkpoint. Steve? Bruh? through the fire. Yikes. Nope. <laughs> okay. I gotta I gotta avoid Steve. He's trying to kill me. Like where's the uh We don't have the gear though. Like, what am I supposed to do here if I don't have that gear? I never I never found the gear or the lever, so I don't know what to do here. I legitimately don't know what to do. Everything's locked.
I get him to open the door? I don't know. How do I do this? How do I do this since I never got the gear? I mean, I legitimately don't know what to do here because we did not get the... We didn't get the gear, so I have no way to get out. I don't know what to do. Get it? Did it. I can't get it. Need to shorten up his shoot shooting time here. Did I get it? I did get it. All right. Now where did it go? I don't know where it went. Ugh, it's making me sick. battle.
Oh, am I one of the patients? Look down at your hands. Ooh. I'm the new Steve. Oh, gosh, bad things happened here. Yep, there it is. No. Uh... Woo. What an ending. What another great Fright Day game. That one got really hard at the end. I wasn't sure what to do. That was a heck of a boss battle, too. Wow. All right, we'll let the credits roll just to see if anything happens at the end. Not sure if it will, but we'll, we'll let it go just to see. All right, looks like that's gonna do it for Craven Manor, another great Fright Day game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you did, there will be a link to the description. You can go check them out, play it for yourself, see what you think. But if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, thanks so much for hanging around. I appreciate it. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. Either way, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.